All right, back in the kitchen today. Yesterday I did how to make whipped coffee. And today I'm going to do how to make whipped matcha. I saw when I was like researching yesterday about whipped coffee that there's actually such a thing as whipped matcha. And I love coffee and matcha, so I definitely wanted to do this one as well. Um, I also am hoping that this one turns out 10 times better than the whipped coffee did. Again, I didn't really do, I didn't do the whipped coffee right necessarily. So that's probably why it tasted a little off, but I'm hoping the whipped matcha is really good. So we're also not gonna follow the recipe directly. Um, we're just going to wing it. And that's probably why I make things bad, right? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with one, this is going to be made vegan, but usually people use egg whites and I just don't feel comfortable using egg whites to be honest. I could use the egg whites if I wanted to, I'm not vegan, but instead I'm going to use the liquid from one can of chickpeas. This apparently does the exact same thing. I think it, oh, I forget what it's called. Let me see. Okay, so it's actually called aquafaba, but if you were to beat um, a bunch of egg whites, it would turn into like, that's how you make meringue. So that kind of gives the same effect with the liquid from a can of chickpeas. I don't know why, don't ask, but it's called aquafaba. So we're gonna open this can of chickpeas and take the liquid from a 15 ounce can. All right, so I've got my liquid here and I am just going to put it in my bowl. Great, now I'm just gonna take the can of chickpeas and put it in a Tupperware and save the actual chickpeas to cook with. Okay, also for this recipe will be linked in the description and it is from Simply Quinoa. But I have my liquid here and now I'm just going to take a, you could take a stand mixer or hand mixer or potentially a whisk that might just take longer but we are going to beat the liquid with a hand mixer until it forms peaks and it said that it should take about one to two minutes so first we gotta plug this john in I don't really know what forming peaks mean. I think it's supposed to get fluffy, but I don't think that happened. <laughs> We're just gonna keep trying now. So. This is just not going well. It is just foamy. It is straight up foam. It is not peaky. All right, I hate to do it, but this is going down the drain because it didn't work. Instead, we are just going to use the egg whites. So let's just pray we don't get salmonella. I don't really know how, sorry you guys are crooked. I don't really know how you don't get salmonella from this, but. All right, so we're just going to beat this until it forms peaks. I think we're starting to form our peaks. I think we have formed our peaks. I'm just gonna keep peeking it though. So next, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to boil water and pour sugar in the water to make a, uh, like, syrup, basically. And I don't feel like doing that. So instead, what I'm going to do is... I don't know, because I don't want to taste it without the sugar. Ugh. The thing with the egg whites is just, like, not... It's making me nauseous, kind of. So I'm gonna take this Navitas uh, matcha 
and take a teaspoon of that and just put it into our mixture here. And maybe pour like a little sugar. I don't like using white granulated sugar, but I guess it will have to do. I tried to get coconut palm sugar and there was none. So I'm just doing a teaspoon of that in there as well. I'm not dissolving it, sorry. I guess I should have done the water thing. I think you're supposed to dissolve the matcha and the sugar in the water for a reason because otherwise it looks very grainy like this. What? I just added two tablespoons of like hot water. I don't know if that will do anything. Hope this is what I get for not following directions. It actually doesn't taste like anything except for matcha and a little sweet, so thankful for that. All right, I have my ice here. I'm going to do the same as I did with the coffee and do oat milk. I love a good oat milk matcha latte, so we're going to do oat milk and then spoon. This made a lot, probably because the eggs just whip it up, but oh, this is very foamy. This is the finished product. So, looks like the whipped coffee, but just a little bit more like air, airy, I guess, with like the egg whites, I'm guessing that's why, but we are going to give this a try. Ooh. Give me one second. All right, got my straw. Well, That's good. Thumbs up. I like it because it's not too sweet. It's definitely very airy. Um, and like I just lifted my straw up so that I could get some of the oat milk and some of the matcha, but pretty good. Again, the egg white thing is still freaking me out though. I don't really like that, but yeah. So yeah, cheers. Okay, so I have the final verdict for you guys. Um, I do like this a lot better than yesterday's whipped coffee. Um, it is very foamy, and I didn't make the recipe right, but it turned out good. Um, I only added a little bit of sugar, probably like not even, I'd say half a tablespoon. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's very light, airy. If you like matcha, it's not super matcha-y. I'm sure if you add more matcha, it will taste even stronger. Very light, it's not super sugary, which I like. So I'm sure you could do without the sugar, honestly. I just wasn't sure what it would be tasting like, and I thought it was going to taste a little weird with it being the egg whites, but they actually don't taste like anything, but they still freak me out. I will say that time and time again, because it does freak me out. Um, and yeah, I don't know, um, pretty good. Overall, 10 out of 10. I just have to try the whipped coffee again and do it, not necessarily right, I did it right, but I need to do it better than I did it yesterday because I used Trulia. So that was just a big mistake on my part, but this isn't bad. Um, I definitely don't think I'll be making this on the reg because one, it's just too much work. And two, I can just easily do like a, a latte, an iced lat matcha latte on my own without having to go through all this trouble. So, but anyway, it was fun and I'm glad I did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, the recipe will be linked down below. Um, the Well, I said I was going to link the vegan version, but I'm actually going to, I'll link the vegan version for you guys. Um, maybe it will work for someone else. It just didn't work for me. But I will also link a regular matcha 
whipped latte whipped matcha latte uh recipe as well because um it's basically they all call for the same thing it's there's nothing really special about it so yeah uh do as you like and i hope you guys enjoy it so all right i need to get on with my day now i hope you guys enjoy this little segment all right guys thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already given the whipped coffee or the whipped matcha a try i definitely recommend even just to try it out it, it is a fun activity to do so if you happen to have those things laying around definitely try them out let me know how they turn out um send me a dm on instagram or something and yeah i hope you guys have a fantastic day when you're watching this or whenever you watch this i hope you guys are just having a good day or have had a good day so also make sure to subscribe if you are not already and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye guys